Well, I wasn't expecting to start the video like this. Looks like my car fell off the jacks. Fell into the dirt right there. I'm not gonna be able to zoom, I only got one hand. It's pouring rain right now. Looks like it fell on the frame all right there. That one fell over, come on. There we go. That one fell over. That one's loose, I moved that one around. It's not stuck in anything. You can kick it, move it. It didn't crush the bottom of the cab either, so that's good. Inside of the cabin's all jacked up too, which isn't good. I was just get, happy it didn't put a hole in the floor. God, this stupid freaking motion light. There we go. Here's the sketchy part. Oh my god, look at that one jack. So effed up. Goodness. Jack and try to at least adjust these or put it back on the ground. Just take these jacks out. Yeah, that's comforting. Woke up in the middle of the night, heard a big loud crash to find my car completely off the jacks and everything. That's great. That's just great. Bottom of the cabs in the water. Bunch of water in there, I gotta get out. This was supposed to be a light rain, it turned into a lot more than that. Jeez. I'm gonna try to move that jack, cause that's really not good. You can see there's pressure on that one tire. Oh, I'm so angry. That pisses me off so much. I'm gonna try to get that jack fixed and I'm gonna come back in the morning. That's where it sits. That's where it's gonna sit. Tires are back on the ground. The frame is literally touching the ground now. There's a bunch of water in there. And I'm not happy. So you can clearly see that jack sank into the ground and tipped over. Now, believe it or not, I know you guys can't see very well, that jack is underneath the frame, but the frame, there's a hole right here, so the frame is actually not uh, touching anything. The uh, jack isn't smashing. I can reach in there and take both those jack stands out. Luckily they didn't go through the trans tunnel. That would have really pissed me off. But, uh, yeah, that does not make me happy. But we have rain. A lot of California gets flash floods, so this is our little mini flash flood. I know a flash flood is nothing compared to what it is in the Midwest. This is what I get to deal with. So I got to, it's gonna stay here for four days because if I try to put it back up on jacks, it's gonna fall off again. So, yep, I'll come back in the morning and show you a little bit better lighting, but, God, man, that pisses me off. I spent a lot of time and money on this car and it just falls in the dirt. It just looks so trashed right now. All right, guys, today's video is sponsored by Shine Armor. If you're anything like me, your car sits outside and gets dirty and grimy all the time. 
you don't have time to wash it or clean it before car shows. So Shiner actually came through with a bunch of different products I could show you today on how you can just do a quick waterless wash or clean your entire vehicle without having to use water. You don't have to use it. You can just go get home from work, get in your car, go to the car show and wipe it down real quick. And you can have the same show quality finish as a guy with a $50,000 hot rod right next to you. All right, so we're gonna head over to my Galaxy. I'm gonna show you guys how these three products work and how you can use them for your car. Uh, I'm not gonna use them on my truck because obviously it doesn't have very nice paint. My Galaxy does, so we're gonna head over there we're gonna try it on the car. All right, guys, so I got the Galaxy right here. You got two different different panels right here. Uh, the rain just washed it off, but I wanna show you guys how much stuff is actually still in your car, I mean, even though you think it isn't. So if you wipe your handle on, nothing comes off. But if I use this one product, you can see what I'm using right here. So this is what we're gonna be using, this is their quick detailer. This actually has ceramic in it, so you can use it as a quick wash, get all the dirt off, and it'll actually leave a ceramic coating on it to where water just beads off and nothing will stick to it. So, so that's pretty cool, we're gonna try it out. So you can actually really see that one spot I did you can actually see it on the trunk pretty well. The paint's not very shiny, so it's kind of hard to show you guys. Um, but the cool thing is the ceramic. So if you feel it, um, this is like super, super smooth. Like your hand doesn't stick to it at all, where this is kind of your, your hands and oils get caught up in the paint. So I want to show you guys kind of how this stuff just literally just beads off between the two. See the line? Wow, that's actually really cool. Look at this, now you can really see the line of where I had the, this is all ceramic coated, so the water just comes right off and then it sticks right there. So you can actually see there'll be like a right angle right here. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> it's literally just the whole line. So this all just comes right off. Water won't stick to it. You drive down the road, it's gonna fall off. Whereas this just sticks to it. So that's actually pretty cool. I've never actually seen that before in a car. All right, another one we got is our leather cleaner and conditioner. So if you got leather seats in your hot rod or your nice car, you want to keep them clean. So this one's pretty nice because it actually, if it starts to get hard or greasy, it takes all the grease out and makes them nice and soft. So you guys can kind of see our little line right there. You can see this is all the grease and grime and dirt and it's a lot softer now. It's really hard and it's nice and soft now right here. You can see the fat line right there. So now your interior is one color. It doesn't have a bunch of shiny grease and dirt marks and stain marks from people can sliding in and out. Um, so yeah, it looks pretty good now. All right, our last one is our interior detail. This is more for like the older car guys. It's got vinyl, more vinyl and leather. You can guys use this kind of stuff. You can use this on your dash. This actually protects from sun fading and stuff like that. So that's really nice. So uh, we're gonna use this on the seat sale, which brings the black back. These are original 68 seats that have not been reupholstered. So should look pretty good. <laughs> wow, you can see the difference big time there. <laughs> wow, I didn't realize how dirty these things were. <laughs> yeah, so you can totally see the difference and it's not like it just wipes off. It's <laughs> the whole black has just changed. That's pretty cool. All right, guys, so I know there are a lot of you that got nice cars and want to protect them out. So if you want to protect your car, go to shinearmor.com. It'll have it in my description. You can use the code Craig10 and get 10% off your order if you're interested in the interior detailers or leather cleaners or, or even the quick clear coat. It'll all be down in the description for you guys to use. So thank you so much, Shine Armor, for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back into it. And this is where we stand. So it's been raining pretty bad throughout the morning. It kind of cleared up. You can see it cleared up just a little bit for a split second. I can guarantee it's going to dump again in the next few hours. So I wanted to film this while I still have a chance. But uh, this is about as low as it gets. I mean, literally. Oh my gosh. Yep. That's sick. It's like a pool of water I got to clean. Just nothing about this you know, went well at all. I mean, I got half of my car sitting here on the ground. And it's like, yeah, I get my car back on the ground. No, it's not really how I wanted it on the ground, guys. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, so uh, I'm not even gonna try to like blame this on anybody else. It's my fault. Unfortunately, I did not think it was gonna rain this much. I was at school, came home, it started raining. Uh, I thought it was just gonna rain for a day. I was like, whatever, don't sweat it. Keep in mind this car has been on the same jack stands for months now, in the rain, multiple times, over different days. And I was like, okay, who cares? It's just rain, it'll be fine. Undoubtedly, I did not put wood under the jacks, as you guys obviously can tell. Um, and I know I should have. So I don't wanna see a bunch of comments telling me I should have put wood or something under the jack stands. I'm very aware of this. We had a 
you saw in the video, it was quite rainy and it was doing that for 24 hours straight. So it just got so wet in this area that the mud just got so soft. This dirt was the same kind of dirt you could literally throw a pickaxe at it and it would spark. It like was incredibly hard. So I was like, it's, yeah, it's fine. But when you literally soak dirt for 24 hours constantly and like and make it a pool of water, any dirt's gonna get wet and soft. So what happened is the one jack in the front corner, it was a little bit, the ground was just a hair off level. And so that allowed the jack to kind of lean forward and just slowly and slowly sink forward until enough pressure allowed it to tip. And that one jack tipping caused the whole forward, uh, the whole car to kind of sludge forward uh, and get a little bit cockeyed and just, just fall forward a little bit um, and fall off the jack. And the one jack fell over and then the other one followed it in the front. So both two jack tipped over, causing the one in the back to kind of be a little bit weird as you guys saw in that one shot. But unmistakably, this is my fault. I'm not even gonna try to blame it on anybody else. You know, I didn't think the rain was gonna be that bad. It's been the rain so many times, who cares? It's metal. You know, there's nothing in the car. I just threw a couple parts in there that wouldn't get wet. But it's just a body. There's nothing to get wet. There's nothing to get wrecked. Who cares? It's not a big deal, right? Um, but when you see your own car sitting on the ground, you get pretty pissed. So I'm pissed at myself. I, there's nobody to blame but me. So I'm just like incredibly upset and depressed about it. It's just like not somewhere I want to be right now. You know, I've got so much time. I've got freshly brand new powder coated parts sitting inside. I wanted to show you guys. Thank God I didn't put them on. They would have been destroyed but I have all these nice things I was gonna do the car and now it's just like, it's sitting in this state right now. I just like, everything with this car is a step forward and five steps back and thousands of more dollars in this car. I've, it's crazy, it just drives me insane, so. So not only that, as you saw, the car wasn't covered because my tarp that was covering the car for X amount of months when it wasn't raining, split directly down the center because it got stuck on something in the suspension when we pulled it off and it tore the entire tarp in half. Shout out to Harbor Freight for making amazing tarps. I've never had a tarp literally split in two pieces so easily. It literally just shredded straight down the center. So at that point, you can't even use it. There's no point. So yeah, that happened. Um, but yeah, I got all the windows back up. Took all our drain plugs out. You can see just the floors got wet. Um, took the main drain plugs out, so it's fine. You can see nothing in the interior is wet. Um, but all the useless crap I'm gonna throw in the trash on the floor. Anyways, so it's nothing in the trunks got wet, really. It's all fine. Um, this window doesn't, it fell off the rails. The whole window mech is bad, so I stuck a piece of wood, so I got it kind of up all the way. I think I'm gonna try to get it up a little bit more, um, you know, or put some tape here, or close this off, got this one up. So yeah, everything's, you know, back to where it should be, but you can see it's just a little bit wet down there. I got those drain, I got those drain plugs out as well. Um, checked everything, the interior's fine. It's just metal. So it really doesn't matter if the interior gets wet, um, especially considering there isn't nothing there. There's just a bunch of metal. So it doesn't bug me if the floors get wet because you can just wipe it down. We're gonna be painting and coating and cleaning everything anyways, but the thing that pisses me off is the car's on the floor. I don't like the car on the floor. I can't jack it back up because there's no reason to put it back on jacks and set it up on wood if it's gonna downpour the same way for the next three days. I might as well just leave the car here for the next three days and then wait till it dries up, put the car back on jacks. So that, I think I'm gonna make an actual wood, um, you know, style jig to keep the car up, an actual structure for the front of the car to keep the thing up in the air. So it has a level base with wood. It's a wide platform and it won't sink anymore so we won't have this problem again. But yeah, so unfortunately I can't even work on a car because there's no point. It's just gonna start downpouring in the next like three hours anyways, so. I really wanted to paint the frame. I was getting ready to paint the frame. The day it rained was the day I was gonna paint the frame. So I was gonna paint and coat the frame, get everything back on, just because I have all the pieces to put the front of the car back together. But yeah, this is one of those, I guess, crappier videos that I don't like making, but I guess use my stupidity as an example for what not to do. I don't like being on here, acting like I'm perfect, acting like the stuff I do is always right. I'm a human to make mistakes, so flat out that was my fault. Undoubtedly that was my fault. Should have had wood or something under the jack so it wouldn't sink. Should have got another tarp, but by the time I, I thought it was, I saw it was raining, it was raining a lot harder than I anticipated. I thought it was a light rain for like a day and it would have been done. It downpoured all night and then kept raining and kept raining. That was not what the weather said it was supposed to be like, so totally caught me off guard. Didn't have time to go get a tarp. Everything went as physically bad as it could have. So there's that. It's just, it sucks. I don't like to make this kind of video. But I might as well, from here, hopefully one day when the car is driving and I take it to a car show, I can watch this and just reflect on how much work goes into this car. I have been toying with the idea of just getting rid of it and starting from scratch because a friend of mine has one with a big block in it for $4,000. Why am I putting thousands of dollars in this piece of crap when I can go get another one? That's just, you guys, 
it's just a constant battle with myself with this car. But I'm really, at the end of the day, I'm too far in it to get rid of it. I'm not going to get any money out of it. So it's just like, you know what? At this point, you guys like it so much, I might as well just keep it. Um, teaching myself how to build an entire car from scratch with this thing. So, I mean, it's just whatever at this point. But I might as well make something cool out of this video. I'm going to give you guys a little sneak peek of the powder coated parts so you guys can look forward to what to come once I get the car out of the mud. So as we walk over to our little table. Dang. This is our lower control arm. But yeah, that entire table is full, so that should be fun. But yeah, anyways, I'm just gonna stare at this a little while longer, kind of remind myself of what not to do, and uh, you know, just make sure it's prepared for the next three days of rain. Uh, get the thing sealed up at least to make sure it's not gonna get any more trash than it already is. You can't really mess a car up more than I already have. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Like the video if you want, I don't even know if I would like this video because it's not a good topic. I don't like any of it. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next video. Bye guys.